You want to start by salting these chicken thighs really well on both sides. Then you're going to add some Italian seasoning and some garlic powder. These pre-cut frozen onions are such an easy way to add onions to a dish. And then I added about a half a bottle of Italian dressing. I topped that with some frozen broccoli, cauliflower, and carrot mixture and covered and made sure the tin foil was secure. Now you just need to label it and put it in the freezer for later use. Bake time will vary depending if you cook it frozen or defrosted. Like before, I'm salting both sides of the drumsticks. Then I'm adding my garlic powder and for this one, a little bit of basil. I'm using these same frozen diced onions and I have some dried mushrooms and dried spinach, freeze dried spinach that I'm using as well. You're going to add coconut milk, soy sauce, and a little bit of sriracha and a tiny bit of red chili paste. Mix that well and then you'll put it on top of your drumsticks. I did not have any canned coconut milk. That would be preferable to, for this recipe. But since I didn't have the canned coconut milk, I did add a little bit of heavy whipping cream just to make it a little creamier. But if you use canned coconut milk, you won't have to do that. Mix that around really well and then, like before, cover it up, seal it well, mark it, and put it in the freezer. Stay tuned for the end of the video and I show you how I cook these different meals up. We're gonna put salt on these drumsticks as well and rub that around really good. We're gonna take a little bit of honey, some Dijon mustard and some barbecue sauce and mix that around. Once that's well blended, go ahead and coat your drumsticks in this honey barbecue sauce mi mixture. If you don't wanna use your hands like I did in the video, you can definitely use a brush, um, a pastry brush, that would work as well. But I was just going for simplicity. I also went ahead and topped these with a homemade barbecue sauce, but you can use whatever barbecue sauce you like or have. I just wanted to give it that extra barbecue-y flavor. Once those are well coated, I salt and peppered them. And then I added my frozen diced hash browns, country style, and some frozen veggies on top because my plan was to put all these back immediately into the freezer and then use them as the week went on. I dotted them with some butter and covered this as well. Make sure it's sealed tight and label it and stick it in the freezer. Take your pre-cut stir fry meat, put it in your pan. I have a blend of spices that are good for fajitas like chili powder and oregano, onion powder, garlic powder, and such. I coated the meat well with these spices and I I believe there was salt and pepper in there as well. Now I did add a little bit of beef broth just to keep it from drying out as it cooked, but I realized when I cooked it that really the frozen veggies had plenty of moisture. So I added frozen mushrooms and frozen onions as well as the frozen bell peppers. I finished this off with some more salt, covered it, labeled it, got it ready for the freezer. All of these recipes were so easy to throw together and so yummy once they were cooked. Stay tuned to see how I prepared these. Pretty much for the most part, I put them in frozen. Then I let them cook with their tin foil on for a bit and then I cooked the rest of the time without the foil. Then once they were done, I just served them up. This first one was the Italian chicken with the veggies and it had really good flavor and it cooked really nicely. This next one was that spicy coconut drumsticks which I also cooked with the foil on for half the time and then the other half the time with the foil off and these turned out really tender. I just cooked up some rice and we ate it with rice. I did the same thing with the barbecue chicken legs and it turned out really flavorful. The fajitas had a little bit of extra liquid so you can drain that if you want, and I just served it with tortillas and sour cream. Hope you found something that helps. Have a great week.